the, uh, this black boa has many names. It's also called the Yakumama. Now, Yakumama means mother of the waters or queen of the river. The female anaconda, actually it's a good name for women's lid, the, the anaconda, because the, the anaconda uh, female is five times bigger on an average of the male. Males only little wee things. But the, 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 if you had a if you had a, a male anaconda it's about 27, 30 feet, the female's about 130 feet of these of this species. You know? <laughs> <laughs> so, but anyway, that's it's called Yakumama to a lot of the people down there. What's it it's called also when it called, gets so big? Right? When it gets so big it can't move. Oh, so I'm gonna tell you that. Remind me to tell you that at the end of this, but I'm going down through okay, I'll tell you that. <laughs> when, when it, I won't forget, you know, you know, uh, when this thing, this is according to the locals, this thing gets so big, you realize, of course, with the great weight, it's the water that's helping it move, mm -hmm. it's the water that's helping it get around, right? But this thing gets so big and so large that it can't move anymore. And it becomes what they call down in the Amazon, Sasha Mama which means jungle mother. And it stays in one spot. And then the vegetation starts to grow over it. And then when anything comes along, it uh, grabs it. And I suppose eventually it dies in that spot. The vegetation is over it. You wouldn't even know anything was there. So that's why they've never found these uh, skeletons and things. But anyway... You wanted it, me to remind you about the, um, the other account? What was that? Uh, on the tape? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Do you want... Of, you, um, tell me when you want that played. Well, you can do it now. This was a... Go ahead, put it on. This is a translation from... Maybe you... Um, you may know about this, um, Carolina. Do you ever hear of a newspaper down in Rio de Janeiro called Anoit Illustrada? I, I suppose I'm pronouncing that wrong. Noit Illustrada, maybe? I think it means evening illustration yeah. or whatever, right? But anyway, the thing is that this, this what he's going to tell you now, was a translation. Somebody translated something out of that paper from, uh, from Rio de Janeiro. Put that tape on. Will you? No problem. From the Amazon. Its characteristics are approximately those of the monster which appeared in the Tabatinga Fort. Here's the Tabatinga Fort here. 40 meters in overall length and 5,000 kilograms in weight and 80 centimeters in diameter. That's about the width of a door, 86. The one bottom left. It is not a matter of mere imagination as might well appear credulous reader, but of a fact which has been attested by several dozen persons. The event transpired in the fortress of Tabatinga, yonder in the distant savage region of Oyapok. It would have been about six o'clock in the evening and the garrison of the fortress was just finishing its evening meal. Suddenly, emerging from the waters of the river, there rose up, as if in a fantastic vision, a snake of gigantic proportions, infuriated and almost causing to capsize in its passing by various little boats that were there. The snake reached the edge of the river and headed off in the direction of the fortress with the intention of uh, entering it. When the alarm was given, the soldiers promptly took their rifles and began to fire at the monster. Not less than 500 shots were fired before the reptile could be pronounced dead. It was a question of an anaconda measuring 40 meters and 80 centimeters and weighing more than five tons. It is worthwhile mentioning also that according
according to the terms of the telegram which gave news of this episode, the snake cannot be considered of great size if a parallel is established with others of the same species which <coughs> abound in the Amazonian forests. That's fine. Now this creature anyway, the, the, uh, the black bow, we'll call it the black bow, it has different names as I said, you know, it's called the uh, uh, the bull killer, which that one did, I said. It's also, in Africa, it's called the Inkanyamba. And then further north, North Africa, it's called the Lao. In Cambodia, it's called the Garuda. And in uh, India, it's got a, another name. I don't know the name in India. But you notice it's all, all over the world, this, this, this snake actually exists uh, in different places and has been uh, reported about, you know? Chief, can I just remind you yeah. that on, on the next the slide we have now is the channels, right? Which right. Is, relates to the account of Percy Fawcett of the trails. Oh, right. And we discovered when we examined these that um, they looked like rivers, but after weeks we realized they didn't go anywhere. They just stopped. Yeah, they're just trails. And so what your satellite see? photographs then examined further evidence yeah. of channels, which follows next. So yeah. tell me when you want the channels up. That's, yeah, well, and I'll tell you something else that, that you might like to know. You know how you can figure the weight of a snake? Yeah. You see, water weighs, for one cubic meter of water, it weighs one ton. And for any animal that lives in and uses water as its habitat, like this snake, it must be about the same weight as the water, either if it, well, if it was heavier, it would sink to the bottom, if it was too light, it would uh, go to the top, so it has to be about the same weight as water. Now this snake, when I was telling you, two meters wide and 40 meters long, let's say, just as a rough guess, that it, we'll just say it was 40 cubic meters, do you understand? Instead of saying four, four meters, uh, two meters wide, we we'll say it was 40 cubic meters. That means this creature weighed about 40 tons. All indications say that this creature must have weighed a colossal weight. Now I know that seems hard to believe, but these creatures actually uh, do exist down in the Amazon. Go ahead, what do you want to do now? 